Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my Sky Factory Island over the void. What are we doing today? Well, I've got a few surprises to show you. Not a few surprises. We've got some progress to show, and we're going to be working on that crossbow that I wanted to get last time, but we never did end up getting. We didn't get the right, right kind. So, yeah, we're going to have a little chat about that. We're also going to build a cleaver that we can get wither skeleton skulls from pretty quickly and uh you know what we'll see from there all right well let's get started all right the first order of business is we need to get out of f5 mode okay we'll bring back the hud and we will put on armor and the jetpack. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, flight. Yes, we've got flight. All right. So since the last time we were together, you may note that the days have increased greatly. That's because I've been going AFK because those move fluids cows have been producing quite well. And I've wanted to keep that going. So let's take a look here. I've emptied out all the ones that have gotten filled so far. We've got a bunch of Ardite going, a bunch of Cobalt. Terra Steel and Mana Steel if we ever get into Bot or Batania. But all I've been doing is just going AFK and then I let them spawn over here. It takes a while. And then I come in and get rid of the ones that I already have pieces and parts for. Okay, so we don't need that. And what this is doing also happens to be increasing my skill on here. Yeah, so. Uh, I've got, I've got move fluids cows for pretty much every liquid, every useful liquid in the system. The only one I'm still waiting for is Yolorium. That would be great, but I've got shiny, I've got lead. This is a sludge. I don't need sludge. Once we get a regular cow farm going, we'll get plenty of sludge. Molten void metal, we got plenty of that. So this is all I've been doing. Yep, we got this one. And I'm going to show you another one. Yeah, we got manual one as well. So, um, yeah, I've cleaned that out. It's kind of, it's kind of morbid if you think about it. But hey, we got to keep the uh, the mob cap free. So come over here, put away all of that stuff, and we are out of space on the beef. Yeah, see, I've been killing a bunch of those things. So we'll just throw the beef into there and go to sleep and I'm going to show you one of the fluid cows that I was particularly excited about because it greatly reduced the amount of time I would require for one of our needs today. Is it here? Maybe this one or this one. Let's see. Gold, lead, Hmm, <laughs> I can't remember where I put it. And maybe it's down here. If I don't find it in these two, we're not going to bother. It's Terra Steel, Liquefied Emerald. Well, it's not in amongst those. You know what, I said that I would do that. Let's see, Essence, okay, yeah. So that's a good one to have because that means we can do Auto Spawner. Essence also, how about here? liquid blue slime also good but the main one I was looking for was pink slime so I needed pink slime for the crossbow we're gonna do today and I was thinking that I would have to update the mob farm slightly and use a grinder from MFR grab the pink slime and then put together an auto spawner for it but I managed to get a move fluid cow that had pink slime and so I was able to get some pink slime balls. So let's start putting together uh, the two tools that we need to really work on today. And the first one is going to be this cleaver. So let me grab all the parts here. And what we're going to do is try and load this up with as much beheading as possible. Then we're going to change out the sword blades. And then we'll get one each of these modifier updaters. I can't do the nether star because we don't have enough wither heads to do a couple more 
of those withers, but that's fine. No harm, no foul. Let's come over here to our tool forge and we're going to grab the cleaver right there. We'll do this and we'll put in our large sword blade and then the plate and that's going to give us a magical wooden cleaver. We've got nine modifiers remaining. Nine modifiers. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So what we can do now is come over to not that one. Not that one. This one. We're going to put this here. We're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to put. No, you know what? We need to put on an extra modifier, right? So we got 10, so we'll do that. And then we'll put the ender pearl and obsidian. And so we are going to put all the beheading that we can get on this thing, like so. And so, okay, we're gonna go beheading 10. Okay, so we got that. So 100% everything that we hit with this that has a skull registered in the ore dictionary in this mod pack is going to drop a head. Now the problem is it's got a attack of four hearts so we've got to do something about that and what we're gonna do is replace the tool rod. Can we do that? Can we put two on there? Replace one and re nope. Okay and we'll do that and then we'll replace the blade Okay, and let's take a look at the stats now. Five and a half hearts. Not the best, honestly. Not the best. And we've got... Mm, how many modifiers? We can add one more with this. Uh, but... Hmm. <laughs> so I made, what, a shiny... Shiny blade. Durability is really good. Uh, but the attack is not so good. Hmm. So we may have to go around and just wail on some mobs for a little bit to build up our stats on it. Because we're currently at a skill level of zero. So we might have to do that. We're not going to go to the nether today. We've got some other stuff in the way first. You know what? Maybe we'll, we'll just open this up one more. Okay. So we'll get one more of those modifiers on there. Okay, I think that's good. We're going to turn our attention next to the new crossbow. Okay, so the reason why is because originally, if you go searching for best crossbows with Tinker's Construct, they say do a Signalum crossbow and it's got a pretty good draw speed versus uh, arrow speed and so on and so forth. But it turns out the extra Tinker's Construct mod nerfs Signalum bows a little bit or has nerfed them in a recent update and the draw speed is terrible. Three and a half seconds, you saw that when I was clearing out the mob cap. No good, no good. So what we're gonna do is kind of the same trick that we did with the cleaver, because we do have Iguana's Tweaks in here. We're going to build a crossbow that is made out of magical wood, like this. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna throw some manulin into here to get our bolts ready, okay? Uh, no, we want to just get rid of that. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. So that will go, yeah. And we'll we'll put this on. We've got a Pocophinium tool rod. I managed to get some Pocophinium by mixing, uh, what a skeleton spawned in here and put the requisite material in there along with the other stuff. So I managed to figure out what Pocophinium was all about, but then we got a Moo Fluids cow that has Pocophinium. So no problem there. And then we'll get the we'll get that going as well. So we're going to pour manulin over the Pocophinium tool rod and then let's build the rest of this crossbow. Uh, right like so. We're gonna need these. We're gonna replace our parts with pink slime. But let's get this thing built. We have to come over here to the tool rod, or the tool forge, and we'll go into crossbow. Put this, and this, and the crossbow body, and there we go. So we got a magical wooden crossbow. We've got 
how many modifiers four on there okay and then what we'll do is same thing we will come over to this put our crossbow in and we're going to update this to have all the modifiers that we can get currently like so and then we're going to start adding redstone uh, and yeah lots of redstone because we want to make sure that we've got all the speed on it that we can you know what we may be able to change out the parts real quick we're on okay yeah there we go how many is this what do we got 50 out of 50 let's see if we can change up the parts real quick and not mess up our no, 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 part builder. What do you have to do there? How do you, oh, there we go. Material. Hmm, 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 hmm. So how do you make, do you have to melt it in here? Let's try that. Let's, let's get our bolt going. So we should be able to get a Pocophinium tool rod tipped in manulin. Let's take a look here. Uh, where did it go? There we go. Pocophinium bolt. Good. And then we'll come over here and actually build the bolt with that. And then I've got slime leaf fletching. So we'll add that. 504. So we're going to... Yeah, it's going to be pretty good. Alright. How about over here? Do, do we just put that in? Hmm, 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 hmm. Pink slime balls. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hmm. This is not working. So let's go here. Pink slime balls. No. I'm going to have to go do some research. I thought that that would be sufficient right there, but maybe not. What about. That's not going to be enough right there. Hmm. All right. I've got to go off camera real quick and figure this out. All right. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right. I figured it out. Well, it's not going to be as easy as a single slime ball. We're going to have to turn those slime balls into slime blocks and then smelt them in some sort of a smelter. Oh, which means we need, let's see, five slime crystals for the crossbow body and four for the crossbow limb. That's nine total of these things, which means we need, a, well, another eight times nine slime balls, 72 slime balls. So let's go over to the bed and get rid of night. The reason why I do this is not because I'm afraid of anything coming and getting me. It's because I'm kind of afraid of the rain. I don't like the rain. I'm not afraid of it. I just don't like it. So if we come over here, I found the pink slime. Uh, move fluids cow. Where did you go? Yeah, there we go. So we got pink slime right there. And then I've got a pink slime bucket or right there so every thousand millibuckets is going to be one bucket and one of those buckets can generate a pink slime we don't have i can't do an auto spawner yet because i don't have the um, what are those the safari net so you need a safari net to go into an auto spawner and you need a gas tier to make the safari net and there's no other way of getting Getting the safari net so you can't get it from a loot bag let's see over here might be able to get it from lexica batania hmm you can also sieve soul sand okay well that might be worth it i don't know how much soul sand we got and loot bag loot from an epic loot bag Hmm, we could try our hand at that. We've been getting 
We've been getting legendaries lately. So, uh, you know, I've usually been doing those off camera. Let's take a look here. We've got an epic loot bag. Let's take a look. Let's see what we get. Hmm. I don't know what that does. Eye of Ender. That might be good. Blazing Pyrothium Bucket. That would be nice. But we shall put that here. I know this stuff is rather dangerous. I don't know if it's dangerous in item form or just dangerous if you place it. But you can burn down stuff pretty quickly with that. It would be really good over on my lava generators. So let's come over here. There. There. Okay. And the Eye of Ender, I have no idea what to do with that. So we shall keep that in our inventory for the time being while the slime, pink slime builds up. So I can't do an auto spawner yet. Hmm, could I do, let's take a look at Ender IO. There is a spawner there. So let's see what all is involved. Powered spawner. We could just go to the nether. So powered spawner. And it's empty. What do you got to do? Combine with a broken spawner and an anvil, which means we need to go pick up a broken spawner somewhere. So we'd have to get that either from the nether, from another fortress, or in the deep dark from one of those uh, dungeons that they've got there. You also need a Z-Logic controller, so that means you'd need to build a slice and splice. Anyway, lots of stuff to get in the way. Hmm. So, powered spawner. Hmm. 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 Well, I really, I need, I need pink slime, and so either I could go AFK and wait for that to build up, or I could go the route of going to the Nether. But I'm not quite ready. I don't want to take. I don't like. I don't like these jetpacks, even in this level. So, just to give you an idea. Once we get to the nether, there's not going to be any regular terrain generation based on what I've been seeing. This could be different here, but based on what I've been watching on other people's playthroughs, there is void everywhere except for nether fortresses. So you'd have to go find another fortress. And I just don't trust these things to last or this thing to last the entire time to go find another fortress and get back again. So, um... We don't really need one for a ghast. We just need a ghast to spawn. Hmm. <laughs> well, let me think about this a little bit more off camera. We're wasting time here, and I don't want to do that. So, um, so yeah, let me think about that some. And in the meantime, I'm just going to go AFK and wait for all of the pink slime to build up over there. But uh, yeah, I'll be back once I've made a decision. All right, so what I've decided to do is attempt to go to the nether. And this might seem wasteful of obsidian, but remember I have an igneous extruder that is going gangbusters for me. So we're gonna do this. And I've got the angel block there. We've got 72% on the jetpack. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Let's build a little bit better of a platform around that thing. And we can get rid of our, our chunk borders there. We'll see if we can get a ghast to spawn fairly soon once we get in there. If not, well, this will be a short trip. So let's put slabs there. You know what? Maybe we'll do... Uh, we'll put the golden bag of holding up and put this here and we'll need we'll need one of these eventually for ghasts as well but uh, but wait a minute wait a minute syringe we could do hmm <laughs> dimlet workbench oh what else what else can we do um, mob spawner Spawner, spawner, spawner. Spawner, let's see. RF tools I know or had one, I thought. Yes. Lock it spawn creatures. It needs a syringe of the appropriate type. RF power. Needs a 
beams of energized matter. It's probably too early for me at this point. We don't have a decent RF setup. Porta spawner, auto spawner. Hmm, 600 RF per work. So overall, our RF situation is not the greatest. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, I think it, it might be easiest to try the nether route and get a ghast to spawn, but I may be incorrect on that. But uh, yeah, let me, let's get this prepped and then we'll go through to the nether. Man, that thing's loud. Loud in vanilla, loud in modded. I can't remember what blocks or what what sound it's under for 1.7.10. We'll come over here. The reason I've got this separate is because um, of um, zombie villagers or zombie pigmen rather. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't. I don't want them spawning and staying close to my base. You know what? We need to get rid of those sounds. It's going to drive me nuts. Let's go turn those down. Blocks down. Ambient environment. Wow. Way too high. Way too high on all of that stuff. Okay, that's a little bit better. And of course, it's going to be easy, or it's not going to be too bad for you guys because... I will edit it out in post-processing, but I just want to uh, kind of have a more enjoyable experience here. So one thing we need to do that we are now that we are here, let's put uh, put one of these a return home deal, and let's go a ways a little bit. We'll get our Angel block out, and we've got what 68%, and we're at what uh, 66. Okay, let's do this, and then what we'll do is a little spawning pad, nothing fancy, but we'll see if we can get a ghast to spawn on on this. Yeah. And once we get down to, I don't know, 30% or so, then then maybe we'll head back. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get a ghast to spawn. We'll see. And I will bring you back once we do. Well, a ghast has not spawned, and I'm back in the overworld. Because that was going to get rather boring, and I knew knew I was going to run out of RF. Ghasts don't spawn all that often in vanilla and here in modded they also have the competition from a number of other mod or uh, mobs rather like the hellhound and uh, firebat and the flame string spiders and anyway um, and I'm, I'm just gonna have to go back with a lot more cobblestone and with a builder's wand we'll make a huge spawning platform see if we can get something going there but uh, let's see we should be good to go with our our jetpack again so I filled that back up we've got plenty of junk in our inventory so let's maybe put some of this stuff away yeah it's stuff we're not going to use so I think I'm going to throw that away and and yeah anyway um, we're going to call it here. We've gotten our cleaver done. I put that back over in the tinker's chest right there. I've also put that crossbow that we're still working on over there. I'm going to go AFK and just build up a bunch of the pink slime here. We're going to let that go and I'll just get that going off camera and Maybe next episode we'll have something going for that. But I've run out of time for this episode. And that was that little pink slime debacle I was not expecting. Of course, that's just the name of the game. Apparently, 
in modded it's finally happened to me where something did not work as i thought it would so hopefully you enjoyed if you did a like is always appreciated and if you haven't done so already think about subscribing so you're up to date on everything going on on the channel but as for me this has been so the great here on sky factory 2.5 thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye